Welcome back, folks. I'm in my M53 in a Tier 9 game on El Haluf. And, uh, yeah, it's time to go and smite some heavy enemy tanks. So this battle's a little unusual in the fact that the artilleries are unbalanced. Normally, they, they, the matchmaker tries to uh, balance all the tank ones and takes particular care with that with light tanks and artillery. But I guess this match has been sitting around for a while because it decided that, no, actually, my team only needed me in my, my Tier 9 artillery, whereas the enemy team got both a Tier 8 and a Tier 7 artillery. So I have to be careful. That means there's two of them potentially trying to counter battery fire on me. And uh, I'm actually going to set up here in hopes of spotting one of them moving into position. Oh no, actually no, I'm sorry. That was a different match, I guess. Oh, here it is. This Yag Tiger pops up down here. And of course, Yag Tigers are very, very dangerous. I'm just getting the shell online. Decided to take aim at him. He vanishes, and I'm not quite sure if he's still there or not. I decide, you know what, it's going to take some time for the heavy tanks to get to the, the attack corner over there, so I try dropping a shell there. I see it explode, so I'm pretty sure that at best I just did a little bit of damage to him. But it seemed like a good starting shot to try and do damage to the, you know, the big heavy-duty tier 9 tank destroyer on the other team. Tool is zigzagging around there to help uh, protect myself, potential counter-battery fire. And now, so about the same time I finish reloading, my team will have hit the A23 gap, and we'll see if there's anything hiding up here. Now, one of the noises is that there's this big rock up here now. You can see just above, just uh, to the north of my pipper. I'm like, that's actually a spot where people can hide from artillery, but do proximity spotting on the guys on top of the ridge. And as a result, it could be very, very dangerous for my team. If I let the team know I'm ready to fire over here. And right there. Oh, if only I spotted him just a few moments earlier, I could have nuked that pattern right there in the open, but now he's behind that rock. And it's just about pattern size. I can't actually get him. Now, area, I'm looking for a way to make the shot work. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe his rear's sticking out. Maybe his... No, his rear's not sticking out. So yeah, anyone who tries to move forward while he's sitting there is going to get blasted by artillery and their uh, pattern never even has to expose himself. But you can see me getting a little itchy. You can tell he really, really wants to engage. Alright, the Yag Tiger has moved. He's actually now appeared up over this way along with an M103. Two de targets I definitely need to get shots at. So three of the other team's tier fours are up this way. Oh, I really want to get that pattern. It's being so tempting. Ah, the leopard is actually hanging out where the Yag Tiger used to be. Let my team know I can't get a shot at the patent. Let them know that they're... Uh, that really, there is no good way to ruin him out except for someone to go in there to get him. Whoop, here comes the Yag Tiger, though. I immediately switched to see if I can get a shot on him. It's really marginal. But when it finishes closing in, I take the shot. That might have done some track damage. I want Come back here to make sure I'm actually moving because I don't want to be counter battery. Find I'm sna snagged on the uh, red line. That could have been very bad. Move a short distance to make sure I am safe from uh, counter attack fire. And then seeing that they have to wait, let things develop a little bit on the north side. I turn down here to see if I can get a shot at something down here. Hmm, patience. Oop, Yag Panther. Nope, he's behind that rock. Lose all my aim time as the enemies reappear over here. Yay for me. Aha, here's an exposed target. This Panther 3 is clearly playing peekaboo, probably with that SU-101 up there. But while he's being careful to keep himself safe from direct fire, he apparently does not feel the need to protect himself from indirect fire. Got him. And that took care of that. All right. Move for some more to avoid counter battery fire. Panther 2 complains about being blown up by a tier 9 artillery when he wasn't being careful to protect himself. I sit there doing a very poor job trying to type a response. Let the, yeah, actually, no, there were no better targets at that time, Mr. Uh, oh, oh, the Yag Tiger has popped up and now is hiding right up here trying to side, side scraping off this IS-3, but now that I'm looking this way, he is a priority target. Gotcha. There we go. That took care of that little problem for my team. 
IS-3 is properly appreciative of the sharpshooting of his artillery. <laughs> the sharpshooting with American artillery is always a tricky business. All right, M47 Pat is nearly dead. He does take out C-34 just as the enemy M103 finally decides to come moving up. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out how am I going to do something over here. I'm kind of looking around. Maybe something down there? No, I really need to aim up here. The Patton is being pushed by the IS-3. The M103 is also pushing forward. But they can't get through the pair of extremely heavy tank racks, particularly the Jag Tiger right there. But they think they have cover. Destroyed. Nope. That took care of the Patton, that annoying Patton. And did some damage to the M103. There's a nice shot placed directly in between them. And now that M103 is in a bit of trouble. Alright, I'm looking back here because my team has informed me that there is a, a uh, they saw artillery fire coming from this direction. So I'm looking to see if I'll spot a tracer so I can try and blast them in, out into, into orbit. Looking around for any signs of wreckage or anything. Anything that might tell me where he might be hiding. But there's there's no... There's nothing I could see that would tell me, yeah, this, this is a potential place to shoot at. As long as I'm sitting here, my gun is not in play against the enemy team. All right. T-54 and the IS-3 have just managed to take out the M-103. There's a uh, badly shot up stir a meal, I think they call it up here, and I decided to start taking aim this way because they are definitely on the advance. Now, the Panther criticizes the, um, the M-103 for uh, being overrun by superior numbers of enemy tanks. I don't know. No, no, actually, I'm probably the worst at M103 driver because I'm having a terrible time figuring out how to drive the M103. Ah, okay. Sir Meal's back, and he's got a Yag Tiger friend. So I sit here and start aiming at the Yag Tiger, but he's smart enough to hide in arty cover. So I sit here looking for a spot where I can get the shot through. And there's a place I can get a shot through. Right there. Right there. Come on, come on. 254, push him. Push him. Give him a reason to back up. Just like that. Thank you very much. Gotcha. Booyah. The Jag Panther is slightly <laughs> shrieks is shrieks in agony from the uh, I believe it's FML, uh, but then but then compliments me uh, on my excellent shooting. At this point, though, I'm noticing that most of the remaining enemy tanks are pushing up to the base of um, our starting area, where I cannot shoot them from here, which means it's time to relocate at high speed. So even though I'm basically broadcasting my presence to any artillery that might be looking this way. I make with all speed towards the cap circle area where I intend to set up uh, what's normally the heavy tank corner. Alright, IS-3 is taken out by a boar sig. The Egg Panther's like, I thought that would work as artillery cover. Well, you saw when I was shooting, it actually was working artillery cover until he started to back out. I'm feeling generous, so I decided to let him know, yeah, yeah, actually it, it was. You, know, you should see it pop up any minute now. Until you reversed. When we reversed, he left artillery cover, and I, I took a speculative, I hope this works shot, and it did. Alright, first time in the match we've seen a, uh, seen the enemy artillery. Now, it looks like our team is moving into cleanup mode, but there's not that many of us left, so we have to be careful. I let my team know I've gained a, my new position where I intend to engage the enemy from, and then I start looking this way for that leopard prototype, because they are frequently quite a delicious part of an M53's lunch. I start to aim up here in case he's trying to climb up and take it off, but then the Borsig pops up. I take aim over there. Then the Borsig decides to leap out, slide down off the mountain, and charge the T-54. Okay, I take a shot, but I don't estimated speed correctly and I end up missing. I move again because there's still an M40 alive out there and I don't particularly find uh, feel like being blown up. He's killed and that's when the leopard finally pops back up. Still has 900 hit points. That'd be a nice and juicy snack for my 8 inch gun. The leopard manages to take out the T-54. So I'm the only tier 9 left on my team but he's a leopard. He's pretty thin skinned. So aiming, aiming, aiming and loading. Come on. Show up some place where I can just tack nuke you into orbit. Alright, Leopard takes a big hit right there. I throw a shell at him. He's trying to hold cover. Oof, track him and do just a little bit of damage, but realizing that I was trying to hang up in a dangerous spot, the Leopard charges the 110. 
At this point, because the Leopard is diving into the middle of not less than three of our friendly tanks and he's an unarmored target, I know he's doomed. So I do a little reloading and then decide, alright, well, you know what? Enough of this. Let's just drive into the cap circle. There's only one enemy left. He's an artillery. He might be the one that was originally in the G2 area. So I said to myself, I'll just either farm a whole bunch of easy capture points. Or, alternately, I will uh, be able to do battle with the M40. So I decided to yell out at him, Look at me, I'm right here, come get some! And then thank the 225 who congratulated me on my good job. I do have four kills, which looks a lot more impressive uh, than it actually is. I only did uh, about, well, let's say I think I did about a total of 2,000 damage this game. So it's kind of a, yeah, you know, I did all right for an artillery. And then I get offered to join a clan. I get. I feel like the more I play and the better I get, the more of these I seem to get. Honored to be, honored, always honored to be offered, guys, but uh, I'm not looking for a clan quite yet. Whoa! Someone decided to take up my challenge. Must dodge. Must dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yes, dodge successful. Now he's loading. It's going to be at least 30 seconds before he can get a shot off. 30 seconds I can use to close the distance and just shotgun him with this giant death cannon. T25 is racing this way, probably thinking, Oh God, no, Artie, don't do it. Don't kill yourself. But uh, no, he's... Uh, yeah, that's not your version of my gun. Done and done. All right. Good game. And good night.